Stevie. Hi, Stefanos. Welcome. Hello. How you doing? Do you, do you have a beard now? Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Can Welcome. you hear us? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Welcome. you. Welcome. Yeah. Excited. Hello to from meet Greece. You. Yeah, I need to understand. Where are you guys from? I'm so confused. We're from Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, I was living in Amsterdam for two and a half years, approximately. Uh, now I returned here, but we're going to move back to Amsterdam in September. September. Yeah. I used to live uh, there. Yeah. Hi, Sasha. I used Hello. to live there. So, um, yeah, it's a pleasure to have. What is going on with Influence Warriors? Like, in a moment to the other, you start to have doubles uh coming in we never had doubles and then like on the last weeks they have been coming so uh, we're welcome, glad to hear it. yeah <laughs> welcome guys welcome here so let me uh take some minutes i know your dear extra influence warriors don't mind so uh, the link uh, some some information then you guys need the link okay. that i sent you give you access to a lot of things the most important okay. thing you need is to focus on the influence blueprint. They have step-by-step -step things to do. So you start getting, my videos are very fast, very straightforward. And, and that, is, that is, it's where you need to start and where you need to focus. Okay. Then we have weekly calls. Then I start seeing, oh, <laughs> some bit. <laughs> Some people appear out of nowhere, then I don't see them for weeks. Um, so some, it, it, is, it is, what I want to say is um, the weekly calls. I don't know how it's going to be on the next weeks because I see that everyone is all over the place. So maybe for some, and during the summer, I will just do two weeks because, okay, you know, yes. I, I don't sense. know. I, it's, um, everyone is kind of, uh, doing their own stuff and I guess and um and going but but it's okay and then you have the working hours there's this is for you as well yeah so the the working hours it's some time then now it's, it's shorter as well because I have less people coming in no not less people I have everyone is all over the place and I have something fun to teach about that or to share and uh, the working hours is time during the week then you can jump on a call with me and if imagine then you are there, you guys are there and someone else is, you go first and you tell me where you are stuck or what is your question or yeah, okay, where you're okay. And it's really so, powerful. It's really powerful because we co-create together, right? This we do a lot mm -hmm. of stuff together. Very cool. Yeah. So, so let me just uh, tell you. So you guys have from Greece. We have Anna V. Do you guys know Anna V? Yes. From yeah, 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 yeah. She's uh, she's okay. She's not here, but she's here. Uh, we have Sasha is on Switzerland TV. You both are in Ireland, right? TV and this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Ireland is coming in very strong as well. It's like taking full power of. But we have people from all over the world, and uh, like we kind of infest uh, the place, of... and then you can't get rid of us. What? <laughs> We kind of infest the place and then you can't get rid of it. It's like, it's like, like, oh, it's like, we, like a bad penny. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go fun. ahead. So it, it, is, it is about how this came together. It's about us as hanging out together, have a lot of people are collaborating, have a lot of people, anything then you need. Oh, we have original now today. Wait, we have one of the first. No, I don't. Where is? Wait. Oh, my dear, what are you doing, Jean? Uh, where is Jojo? Are you are you here or you're not here? You're never here when you I'm are here. here. You are I'm here. here. Are you alive? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I'm alive. For yeah. A long time, my friends. Hey, it's a good day today. <laughs> When is your label night in Liverpool? Uh, September 3rd. Yeah, what are you doing for that? 
<laughs> play on a set. Right? <laughs> yeah. Then don't ask I me hope. miracles because I'm not. Uh... Gino, what are you doing, my love? Just want to say hi to you and send you love because. It's me. <laughs> oh, hi. No, I was just like, I need to go on the on Zoom on the computer, but it is calling passcode, meeting passcode. Okay, I'll give to you in one second. Whoa, <laughs> DJ Pro, how are you doing? Yeah, not bad. Okay, we have a lot of newcomers. Can you present yourself because you are one of the OGs? Me, me. Uh, it puts on a squall, man, how weird. Uh, 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 I'm DJ Opro. Uh, I'm a DJ and producer from Newcastle. Um, I've been with Rocky since the start. Uh, I've been a bit vague in the last few weeks because I've been busy in the studio, but I am back now. My love, I'm sending you here, Jean. I will give to you on WhatsApp, okay? Perfect. Okay, DJ Opro, how is going to be? How is to be back to the turntables? Oh, it's brilliant! Brilliant. Four, four gigs this weekend. And I was so, so happy. Just, Guys, we so they are, Paul is with me since March and we crossed like a, a big part of the pandemic. So for me to see you guys go back to play is really interesting. But I want to share as well something very oh. weird. Then is the fact that everyone is coming back to me complaining about the fact that they don't, they are not getting followers or they are not getting likes. Because something weird is going on on the Instagram now. And for me, my perception is every like the world is opening. So the time that people used to spend on Instagram, they are not spending. And it's that and yeah. we are feeling. Okay. So it's 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 normal. Everyone is complaining. From my coaching fitness coaching people to my DJs to my chefs, everyone is complaining. Oh, this is for you guys because I majority of you are music artists, but then I have other amazing, cool people who teach amazing things and uh, and chefs as well. And the reason why I mix everyone is because if it was just music artists, sometimes it was kind of boring because everyone was talking yeah, about. Okay, this. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, very boring. <laughs> and uh, and this this lady here. Uh, she is amazing. She teach uh, in many other things, but she. But I'm going to try to explain without failing. She teach kids how to see with their eyes closed. Right. It's really interesting. Yeah. So I do. It's yeah. Kind of magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really interesting. So uh, you guys need to check out what she does because I I love stories that like really impress me and. And make me oh we have as well today a dj from saudi arabia a female dj from saudi arabia then i was working i was talking for a long time and it's like really cool because i never did imagine they could dj point one point two being a female dj is really interesting so before i kick this off or on or whatever you want to call it um when you guys join uh you both then arrive now what is your main vision and your main goal and what are you looking for? Uh, you, you're talking about us, right? Because we're not seeing the real <laughs> No, you are not seeing the other ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, we want to know how to promote uh, our work online in a professional way mm -hmm. uh, about social media. Uh, we're working mainly on Instagram and Facebook, but we would like to know more about Spotify as well. Okay, because so you're in the I've, correct place today. Yeah, it's a, it's a new place, yeah. It's a yeah. new place for us and uh, we don't have a strong appearance there, okay. to be honest. Uh, okay. Also, to connect with other people, that's a really uh, important Let's, yeah. for us Let's do in the job that we're doing. Yeah, and networking, I see uh, Stevie, Stevie. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are here for quite like I don't know many weeks, like two months, no less. Two months, yes. Um, can you tell talk a little bit about the how, what is to be an influence warrior and how is the feeling and? Uh... Okay. Um, well, I've been lately. I've been finding not been finding the time to do the do much posting, but I'm gonna make time for that. 
Um, I finished all I mean the, the videos. Oh, the network. Oh, so yes, everybody's really friendly and friendly. everybody's there to help. Uh, Javier has been very helpful. Um, yeah, Javier is a machine. Ev ev everybody, like no matter what, if you ask somebody something, everybody's here to help each other, which is yeah. great. And really as nice well, problem. it's time for you guys have a post. You guys can send share on the group or um or do something like that or ask to for us to check out your account. Um, it's 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 all about that. Try to start the blueprint, book a call for working hours with me, and we go step by step, and I give you more attention, and we go us. Uh -huh. Sasha, are you doing well? Are you good? Good. Are you good? Good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to start by uh, sharing two new tools that I have, and I think is really powerful. One, uh, who here is using Canva? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the old school one. Okay, no, Canva is an online uh, website where you can create a lot of content very fast. Uh, but today I'm going to share a different one who creates really cool videos and etc. Before I jump to the Spotify, um, I'm going to oh, just bear with me a second. Uh, but okay. Uh, 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 why each time I try to do this, it's always okay here. It's so slow, my computer, my internet is ridiculous. But it's offfield.com and I want to share with you, I have a special link if you need. I have a special link for this. I hope I can, the only thing is they take a while to, okay, live. So they create videos in special, sharing now. um they create videos it's super easy you can have like you can create your own brand colors and for example my mine is red and uh black and white and i put that with my uh fonts or the fonts that i like more and it will will automatically give me a lot of options you can customize everything and it's super handy i have a special discount for this if you guys want uh, it comes all and you just, this is all videos. So you can wow. customize all of this instead of being buying, I don't know, but I bought and I share a lot of the ready-made templates for, for Instagram and etc. And here you can create your own templates and it's all, you can totally um, create animations and create this. It's really, really cool. And I, I'm in love for this. So this is kind of boring and looks not properly the, the techno or whatever the colors, but you can create whatever you want with this. So I will give you a link on the end. Another very cool app. What was this called? Um, it calls Ofeo. O -F -F -O. I'll give you a link on, on, in a okay. second. Okay. I have a, a discount, it's really cool. Here, this is a great tool as well. I have a special discount for this. I, I'm collecting all of this, but uh, this is this is Flick, and for hashtags, um, it's really cool because if you want to choose a hashtag, for example, techno music, um, it gives you a list of combination of hashtags. So this is higher competition. But it, do everyone knows what is hashtags? Because sometimes I get scared. Some, some, some of you sometimes don't know what is hashtags. So I just want to be sure. Then we are on the same page. Everyone knows? Can you put your hand up? Yes. OK. Yeah, yeah. So on hashtags, these hashtags are going to have a lot of people posting. So that means your post can be lost on the middle. And this is going to be very small amount of people posting so when you choose your hashtags then can be maxing 30 you should mix the hashtags between a combination of one and the other but it's important they make sense so for example if you put the name of artist as amelie lens and you with you playing it's it's not nice for your hashtag of your post of your performance so it's important that but flick give you a, a very interesting uh oh karim 
very interesting information then is from the hashtags that you are using, what are the hashtags who are working better for you and what you should repeat. So it's, it's not just randomly using hashtags, you can know exactly what is working and what not, what bring you more followers or not, etc. So I'll have a link for this as well on the end. I'm really, really in love for this tool and it has been helping me a lot. And then you have an app on your phone. Each time your uh, post rank on an hashtag, you will inform you. So it's kind of exciting. Okay. Uh, sorry, Rocky. Does, do you have to log in with your Instagram account to that app or how does it know what yes, you're using? Yes, you need. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, you need. You, you need to do. Karim, I hope you are okay. So, uh, good. Uh, for you, Jean, you are not a music artist, but I want you to know that I'm working with a lot of coaches that are using Spotify to grow their brands. And I mm -hmm. think it can be super interesting for you because you can use it to Spotify as well to promote podcasts or to promote uh, you talking about something, then it can help or some... Uh... I, use, I use Spotify... I use Spotify for the dance school to find music, but yeah, yeah. that is great. Okay, I use Spotify go. every day. I have a dance school. I use use I know, music. I know, yeah, but, I, know, yeah. I, know, I know, but okay. So let's think about Spotify. But before we think about Spotify, I was preparing your presentation, but I had no enough time. So I'm going to do it step by step, looking to my my notebook. Um, let me tell you the story. What is my relation with Spotify and what did happen? So, um. In April to 2020, when the pandemic did start, I found myself with no idea what I was going to do. And uh, I don't know why. I, I just did run a big, if you guys are with me for a long time, know then in between February and April, uh, January and uh, March of 2020, I grow uh, 40K using ads on Instagram. Something else then we are not going to talk here today, but. But it, is, it was a big, big boost for me. And since I was running ads and I was, I was managing to understand how to do that, when the pandemic started, someone told me, I don't even remember who was, like, you have this following, why you don't put together a playlist? Uh, who here have music released on Spotify and who don't? Who have music? So I suppose so Karim, I know. Yeah, we, we have. I don't. Okay, this is great, not just if you have music on Spotify, but as well if you are not a producer. For, uh, Max, for you, I, this is really good for different reasons. If you are not a producer yet, but you want to put a feet on the ground on the industry, this is the best way to do it. Because when we are a DJ, just what is more important for us to express or in your case, then you are a teacher, music teacher or dance teacher, is to show your music knowledge and how you choose music, how you put music together, how you build, why is important, what is it's it's not possible to express in words what is the how how good is the music or not, but we can have a taste of you as an artist for your music choice, for your curation, curation you see. How you create your uh, playlist? You can tell a story. Yeah, exactly. Totally. So uh, first, I decide to put together a playlist, and then I decide to um, because I just did had a release with Mark Reeve. Um, I decide to push my track inside of the playlist. So what I'm going to give you guys today, the first part of that theory and how I build that up, okay? Um, when you build a playlist and that playlist grows, it gives you a lot of things. One, it gives you the, 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 the window to showcase your work in another way. Two, gives you power because people will start to request to be on your playlist. Three gives you connections between your peers. For example, we all, if we release music, we want the other end us to put on their playlist. It makes sense, obvious. So 
when I start understanding that, I understand as well, then it was a great way to push my value up if I was mixing myself on the top of the playlist with big, big names, right? So, do who have a playlist on now already? No, we don't have a playlist. Hi, Karim. Are you okay? How are you? Okay. Hi. I'm good. I'm good. Not bad. I miss you. I don't see you for so long. Me too. How is the weather in, there? Uh, uh, fucked up. <laughs> it's so hot in Cannes. I cannot imagine yeah. how it's in. Uh... Okay, so, do I? <laughs> you have a playlist? Can you? Yes, I do. Okay. Who, who have a playlist? Can you put your hand up so I, I can see my, my people? Oh, no. <laughs> Paul, you are creating a playlist today for sure. You are doing a playlist. So uh, create a playlist is super easy. And you go, I, we can do a video about that, uh, but you can go and create a playlist and then you choose a bunch of tracks, okay? But then it's important two things. I think I, I have my playlist here, then I can show you. You need to brand your playlist. Spotify playlist. Just bear with me a second. Uh, Spotify. I want to show you guys how I still today, and I'm going to guide you what did happen with my playlist, but still today I get loads of people asking me to be featured on my playlists. Okay, I don't want anything like this. Second, my computer is so slow. Rita, are you having problems with the internet here in Cannes? Because what? You have problems with your internet. Oh yes. Okay. I no, heard you I'm, I'm saying that I'm having problems. I'm asking if you are having. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, I just arrived. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Okay, forget. Okay, so guys, this is my playlist. Okay. This is the original Techno on Lockdown, original playlist that I had. And uh, this was what I put together. Now, um, I, for me, it's really important when you create a playlist, then your face and your image is there. They want to get to, you need to use this as a business card for you and your work. Like, your name, my choices, whatever, whatever it is. And then, for example, I put here subscribe, drum code, soiree, elevate. I put a bunch of names uh, here that are really strong, more commercial techno, but really strong. And I use this as uplift for me. Okay. So I, step my, I set up my first playlist. Uh, I put some tracks. And then the first step that you need to do, it's annoy your, fav your friends and your people around you. You need to have your first victims on your playlist, right? You need to ask your friends. You need to create a nice story. You need to post a story each uh, three days. Um, you can share your Spotify playlist directly on your face. Yeah, I think everyone can share Spotify on uh, Instagram, right? Uh, so you don't need to swipe up. So it's really, it's really important that you consistent. You ask all your friends, you send emails to all your friends, you send a, a message step by step. Look, until you build like 100, 200 people, that is really important because the strategy then we are going to use next cannot be used if the, 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 the playlist is totally empty. Okay? So share on groups, um, share, do a, a step by step. I put here uh, Facebook groups your profile, your Instagram, people that are your friends directly, people then you know, for example, if you are here, ask us, guys, this is my playlist, can you follow me? We can follow each other on, on the playlist and that gives some, some social proof. Then are really important on the beginning when we are starting. So feel free if you create your playlist to come back to me and we share that on the Facebook group, whatever, I have few groups that we can do. Then it's important in your playlist to have a mix between, I'll say on the beginning, 50% of famous people and 50% of 
of good music, then you check, like you first you find the music. Oh, I like this. I don't know this person, I like this. But if you need, you have an A and B track to choose, it's important to check their social media because you want to add the artists who have something going on. You don't need to be like the most spectacular numbers, but it needs to have a good engagement. The way then you guys know if your account have good engagement or not, you can use a site named, here we go again. You can use a site named, yes, 300 Social Blade. So Social Blade, you can use a site, you can change this and you can use a site to know if account have good engagement or not. You put here, uh, I can put, then on TJ. Why, why is this giving me? Okay. Then on DJ official. Okay, I cannot find out. Well, then on uh, hand. It's oh. Okay. Okay, so my picture, so funny. I work with them. I think I'm going to work with them again. Who here, do you guys ever use Denon? No? No, not it's really good. It's it's the it's good. I'm just saying because I know we all have that question and uh, it's really good. Uh, 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 uh. So you just put just put the account. I think you don't need. No, you need to put the handle. Okay, uh, probably because why each time I try to do this is always. Okay, you come here, put the handle like I'm doing in, okay. And now he gives you how he's going on. So you can have idea if you need to choose between two accounts, what is the best one to choose, okay? And you, what you do is when you add them, you are going to DM them on, 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 on Instagram and say, hi, X, how are you doing? It's just to tell you, I just set up a new um, playlist and I add your track, great work. I hope you enjoy if you can uh, send me more music just like that. And it's a good way to build. I'm very focused, like you guys know, I'm very focused in build network much more than build followers. It's the network and the connections that is really important. So now you have your playlist, you have your branding, you have a good name, a strong name. You be sure that your handle on Instagram is there. Here is how I say, you cannot tag your handle on, on the Spotify. But if your handle, you guys know what is a handle, right? The name. If your handle is always the same everywhere, you just put at your handle and everyone can find you anywhere. And this, this is the power and why it's important and the handle is the same on Facebook and YouTube or whatever it is on, on Instagram. So now you have the handle, you have 50%, you have 50% non-artists, you have 50% upcoming artists with good music, okay? And how we are going to promote? We did all the organic promotion. We are going to promote this with ads. Now, for you guys who are just arriving and never did listen to me talking about ads, don't get overwhelmed because I go deep on, on the ads part. Um, I use, I'm going to start using YouTube because I think the Facebook ads is all very overcrowded. But for now, I have been using um, Facebook ads. And the Facebook ads, then I teach, and I teach normally for engagement. I teach in a way that you get engagement for 0 0.0001. Uh, so it's ridiculous amount. So you, you, what you do is you look for engagement first from everyone around the world who like techno. And then when you warm up with social proof, then you go to the audience then you want to reach. So you have a different way, but I teach that, that is videos about that. And I'm happy to teach you live if you need, if someone needs, because I know this, you never did run ads. 
Stevie, you never did the run ads with me, right? Um, is there a video with tutorial on that? Yeah. Did you? Oh, you did. You yeah, sent I... me a message saying there was a part of the video were not there, right? Yeah, I think I've, I've, I've reached all the videos and the blueprint. Is there any more? The last one I done was um, Creator Studio one. Yeah, it was a part. It was missing a part. Uh, the the highlight creating a highlight cover uh, went blank at five minutes eighteen. There was no voice or video. Okay, I still have videos for you, so don't okay. don't get don't get. I'm ready for more. <laughs> Did you finish all? What are there? I'm finished. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll upload more tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, I've, I've run ads, Rocky, but only myself, like, um, and they were to get video plays. So I did a video plays and to try and get them up to 500. And then that was kind of where I stopped. Okay. Uh, so it wasn't, it wasn't what you showed me. It was rule, just a, what rule number one, showed. never push the button off Instagram saying promote. It's what you don't want to do. You want to add, you want to run your ad on Facebook business always. And then you want to do engagement. And then it's really important if we are focusing on growing uh, Instagram, then the placement is just on Instagram and the post is from Instagram. So it's a little, I can teach this in 10 minutes, but it's little details that need to be on place. So that is there. But today I'm going to explain how I produce some content then brought me loads of people starting following my brand, sorry, my playlist, growing my brand and giving me followers as well and putting me at the same side than other artists. I will say uh, after to reach the 100,000, this was the second strong step that I did for my career. So uh, do you guys remember that I said then? Yeah, Karim. Can I do this also to my Spotify account not for the playlist? To my Spotify account. Yes, you can. But okay. listen first of the playlist. So we go to Spotify account. I know you want a Spotify account. For yeah. okay, let me just explain the playlist, then it's easy. The Spotify it's, it's different. Okay, so what you do is you are going to run, you know, the swipe up. We don't have swipe up until we have 10,000 or we are verified. So the swipe up, it's something that you can have if you run ads. I am going to show some pieces of content than I did. For me, what was working was story ads of 15 seconds, where I mix a lot of brands and a lot of famous people and myself in the middle and brought me automatic followers, like I said, and people to follow my accounts. And so I'm going to share, let me see, let me just open. Uh, okay, so this, can you guys see this? Yes. I hope it's this one. So, and this one is for sure. Can you see? You saw, can you, did you guys saw it? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I mix myself with a lot of big names uh, and some, then I work with others not. And I, I, I did add some extra things. One that I important was the na their names, the same color filter. So it always looked the same. And it's important then you add the name and Spotify update weekly. This is really important. And they just swipe up. And then this is just one example. I, I build, you need always to build three, four, five. Uh, this is, can you guys see this? Yeah. This is my track with uh, Mark Reef. Okay, so this was, and then you need to have at least four to five pieces of content. 
videos vertical with graphics, but it's important that you put some of the artists, then they can find their straight away on the beginning. So the most strong artists need to be on the beginning. As soon they open the page, they open the playlist, they see them there. Okay. So for you, Jean, what you'll do is like a mix of big, big names like pop art. I don't know what kind of music, but like a mix of pop, probably, right? And and it's even easier for you. It is important as well, then you look inside of Facebook and you see what are the artists then you can target. Meaning you can target Deborah DeLuca, you can target Nina, you can target Drum Code, you can target Adam Bayer, but you cannot target Emily Lenz or Charlotte David because they are not there. So if I know then I can target Nina or Drum Code or Swara, I will be sure then when I do my targeting, I will choose that. Do you guys want to see how I do my targeting or is not important for this? Uh, yes, it would be nice to see actually. Okay. So let me open here. I can I can show a full no wait front page. Let me close this all because I have three hundred pages here. <laughs> I cannot do anything. Wait. Okay. So. Okay, so I'm going to do an ad from scratch with this, okay? Inside of the business, business manager, they need to have access, and I'm not going to explain how to open an account here because if you guys need, I will tell. We want to, we even could do conver conversions, but that is too upfront, and now they are still uh, going around with, uh, with, uh, with the update of iOS. So we want traffic. Okay. The problem with traffic is we don't know exactly how much it's costing us to get, but you have an idea. On the end of the day, you calculate in the amount that you spent versus the followers that you had on, on the playlist. Another thing is you always get followers through this on your Instagram account. Um, I found then if I run with my Instagram account or if I was running with my label account, the results were different. So if you guys have labels, it's important then try out different things, okay? You need to have at least four pieces of content because you will use that four pieces of content and put in front of people so they their Facebook decides where what content will fit you and not me and vice versa so you use less of your budget and we are not talking about monster budgets here okay i'll go there in a second so here you can give a name spotify playlist uh spotify okay and uh you just go next this is a first website um you could open here and do a dynamic ads but i'm going to teach in a different way so i will say i want to spend five euros a day for this to try out i never like to start with more than that now <laughs> this is a really important thing if you are running ads for growing your spotify whatever is your monthly listeners or your playlist you need to know on that moment where is Spotify in the world, okay? Because um, you need to Spotify countries 2021. Okay, so here is the list and you can add all of them, okay? It's just uh, you need to add one by one, but you can add all of them, okay? And then when you add all of them, I will let, let me see if I can. This is just Africa. Let me see if it works. Sometimes don't work. You come here. Countries. 
let's see. Yep. 51 locations, done. Then you can do Asia. Obvious, this depends on you, but for me, I just want playlists and people enjoying my music. Um, so I really use all the potential, all the potential here. Um, we can add search countries. So I did Africa and Asia, and you guys can do all the rest, Europe, North America, South America, ocean, ocean. So all, all added. I'm just adding this now, so we are not uh, spending more time here. Now, really important is then you know your audience. So I know then people listen to techno is maxim until I'll say 44. And uh, after 20. Um, and now I want to, uh, you can select the language. It's important they speak English or not, depend of you. Because normally when I run ads, I always put English because my content is in English. Uh, but you can leave this because it's Spotify and language have no, and music have no, lang no, no, no language, you can leave it. But here is really important then, for example, uh, I did add drum code, right? I don't remember, I think, was that? You need to wait because you always try mm. drum code. We'll always take a little bit to decide. Nina Kravitz, just example. Um, if you add Adam Bayer, you could do it. Like, don't forget this. It's important that you do a research here first before you create your playlist, so you know what targets is more easy for you to reach, okay? So you know um, uh, drum code. I'm just giving you an example. You guys need to research and search in different ads and different examples. So uh, do this. For example, we have, uh, we, need, we can add some extra. Um, we can do techno in general let me see okay and now we narrow this spotify so what we know we know that these people like techno and as well like spotify so it's more it's more interesting for us now this is really important. Whatever you are doing ads for Instagram, this is fundamental, okay? So we are going to choose manual and we are going to take all this out and we are just going to leave, sorry, just going to leave this one, just Instagram stories, okay? For me, I'm not saying the others don't work. For me, this was what works better. If you guys want to try different ones, you can add different ones and try out whatever and come back to me and tell me because if it's working, tell me. I'm curious to know and I'm happy to, um, to go and test. So um, here is where you choose your account. And, and here we are going to create the ad. So I need to come here and uh, add a video. And I have here for sure, if I'm right, I have here for sure. No, I don't. This is on the other account. But I, I you should uplo upload here vertical video. So you know the sizes. If you don't have a vertical video, please create that on an InShot. InShot is my favorite app for that. Um, you don't need to write a lot here, uh, follow our, you can put follow our, um, 
Spotify playlist. Choose a web website. Sorry, Rocky, are you selecting the four videos at that point? Or is it just what you do for No, just ads? one. You okay. create the ad for one. And then you duplicate, I'll show to you in a second. Okay, let yeah, me yeah. just put uh, any media here. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me put this. He's going to complain. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> so put the play, the important detail here. Maybe you want to uh, create a shorter link here will get you data. For me, I used to use Bitly, but now I found a different one Then gives you a lot of information. Then is switchy. Switchy? Do you guys ever saw that? No. What is the? Oh, it's here. Switchy. This one. This one is super interesting because you can create a specific pixel and use this to get more data. If you use this or Bitly, Bitly is more easy to use. So you short your link and you get all the data, how many people did click and how many people did get in, okay? So it's extra information than you get when you create your ad. So you pick up your playlist, um, you, you pick up your playlist, you copy the link from the playlist, you drop here, you pick up this one, and you come to the ads and you drop and you drop on the link. And here um, you can say, listen now. I think it's a good one. He's going to ask me for a link. Let me just uh, put the link here. Uh, so I explain to you how you do after. So you drop the uh, link here. One question, how about uh, hype it? I'm going to have it in a second. I don't use okay. Hypeit for playlists. Uh, okay. I found myself then Hypeit makes, don't, don't help me anything for the playlist. To okay. grow your Spotify account, <clears throat> yes. And I have a strategy I'll share with you in a second okay. how I did. Cool. Uh, but uh, I found then Hypeit makes no sense for me because I have, I'm, I have an offer already. I bring a great selection of music so I don't need to push them to hype it, then to send them already. I can send them straight okay. away. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I just drop this here and I don't know why it's not allowing me to publish, no idea, but okay. And then you publish and then what you do, you come here when it's published and I don't know why it's not closed. And you come here and what you do is, is on draft. You come here and you, you should have a button here saying duplicate. Who was asking me this? You, you duplicate and then you duplicate just the ads. Everything is the same. So you open the ad, you just change the media, the, 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 the creative, okay? Yeah. The video or the photo or whatever you want to use it, the animation, whatever. That app then I show on the beginning is really good to create a cool animation for it don't need to be this editing and, and extra because I went to YouTube, I stole footage from them, I put, you know, but you can do a mix of things. Sometimes we think like, oh, this video is so cool, everyone is falling. And then it's the most boring piece of content then you put there, then everyone follows, okay? So the ad is in, everyone is, you start getting people in on your playlist. And what did happen to me was I was getting, I'll say around four cents for each new subscriber on my playlist. And when I reach, when I reach 1000, I sold my playlist for 2000 euros. Uh, supposedly you should not sell your playlist, but, but I sold them. Uh, at that time as well, I was making money with playlist push. Play, yeah, playlist push. Do you guys know what it is? So basic, more people you have active on your playlist, more they pay you to give reviews about tracks. So what they do, they ask as many artists to promote our tracks and then offer the curator's money to review or an extra points 
like I get points if I put you on my playlist and then I get points if I review and I get paid for that. Bigger is my playlist, bigger is my payout. So it's really a nice money machine. So this is how I grow my playlists. I grow like five or six in a few weeks. Uh, and I was selling them, <laughs> not, not exactly politically correctly, but, but was what I did. Then uh, to answer you, Karim, because I can feel your uh, thing, how I did grow, and I use this for growing a lot of things. I use this strategy, then mix hype edits. I use that to grow my money chat. Do you guys know it's money chat? No? ManyChat is automatic system who sends message automatically through your Facebook and hopefully very soon through Facebook and Instagram. So do you know when you guys receive, receive automatic message from someone like on Facebook? So it's like um, they create like triggers. So you say, hi, how are you doing? If you answer them, they ask you yes or no question or left or right. And whatever you answer, how do you say that? They, you have different places where they send you and different offers they send to you. Uh, so it's very powerful. It's like, it's much more powerful than email list because it's much more interactive and uh, it gets a lot of results. Before, if you have 5,000 people, you can you could like just trigger a button and send a, what they call broadcast to everyone automatically. Now it's not exactly like that. Now they need to be interacting with you or you need to have a tag on that. So I, I grow 7,000 followers using this strategy, using Hype Edit. But Hype, who here knows which Hype Edit? I did a few videos about that. Okay. Uh, Jean, you need to check Hype Edit. It's really cool. I'll show it to you. Oh. I was I worked with John. John is the founder of Hype Edit on uh, on events, and uh, I, I think Paul knows that. Let me think. I think I, so. This is Hype Edit. Uh, I think yeah. You see here, like this is an old. Yeah, this is a good example. Do you guys, oh no, you guys are not seeing my screen, sorry. So here, do you guys see this? Yes. Who knows what is this song, Jaguar from DJ Roland? It's like an old track. You guys know? Yes. I love this track. Okay. This track brought me uh, 630 email leads. The other, uh, other tracks brought me different numbers. Um, but this one is a great example. So let me guide what is my strategy on this. This works. So basic gene, if you don't know what it is, you put the track here and basic, they need to take an action to unlock what you put here. It can be a download, can be a document, can be, this is a gate, it can be a track, can be a remix, can be a whatever. The actions then you ask is, or should be email list or for them to uh let me for them to follow you so where is gate steps they can you collect you can ask for them to follow your youtube soundcloud spotify on spotify you can have them follow your playlist i know but for me this don't make sense because it's more straightforward than to go around and and if you are not sending emails out you are losing that, but if you are not sending, make no sense to bring them here. And it's really important for them to add your profile and playlist, right? Karim, is that the new one, right? I cannot hear you and I cannot see you. Yeah? So my strategy is divided in two different steps. One, if you are an unknown DJ or you are unknown for many other people, the way that you need to do it and the way that it did work for me is one, I want to know, Karim, for example, tell me an artist, then you want their followers. Um, Omic, for example, Spartak or Omic. Or... Okay. 
<laughs> nice choice. Um, so imagine, remember, I will say Umek is a, is a great example. So find a track from him. What is your, when you think about Umek, what is the first track that comes to your mind? I saw, I don't know. Names okay. are, think about I don't remember okay. names. Yeah. What, what you could do it, and you are in a position then it, it's not exactly so easy for you or it's so comfortable probably for you. I don't know, I'm just, but you could do it is picking up a track from a Mac, remix that track. Don't remix too much because the hardcore fans will be very upset with you. <laughs> so you need to find a sweet balance between your taste and a hardcore remix. Was what I did with the Jaguar track. I knew it's my crowd and I knew everyone loved that track. So I pick up the track, I slightly rework the track. And then I create four videos for the track. Some with me playing, some with people dancing, and you go and you find that on the, on the, on the dance uh, Instagram pages, you can see what are the ones. If you put techno music, you see what are the viral videos going on on the hashtag, right? You just need to steal that video and create your own and create four different pieces of content. And you create a hype it gate and you say, guys, I did this remix and I want to offer to you because we cannot sell, right? The only thing you need to do is to follow my profile on Spotify. And it's heaven. And what you do, you do exactly the same strategy than we did for the ads. But on this case, instead to be for a play playlist, you do for your hype edit gate with the download of the track. Make sense? The thing is, if I was doing hype edit, I'm, I was going to go to placements and give more options of placements. So give uh, more options like Facebook, different options, go around that and test different things because it is a gift. So it's more powerful. You can test different placements on different things. And then if you know you can target Carl Cox and you do a remix of a, so a song of, I don't remember any song from Carl Cox, but everyone knows Carl Cox, but I cannot remember a track. But um, if you can target him, you know that audience know Carl Cox. Obvious, then you need to be prepared because many people are going to be upset. <laughs> but that is part of the drill. And it's really powerful. Is is the easiest way to do it is uh, using, leveraging the, the audience of the artists who have the audience already. Makes sense for you, Karim? Do you want to set up one with me? Yeah. Okay. So do you have- Can, you I, ask so, can I ask something about that? Yes. About, uh, yes. Uh, we're talking about an unofficial remix. Yes. I suppose. So it's going to be an edit or something like that. We yeah. don't have to make contact with the managers or the artists to, to take the to take the rights. Okay. Yeah, because we cannot. We are not selling, but we can give okay. away. And okay. many times, and I, I have been running this for different artists. Sometimes happens they request for you to to do official remix. It's not the first time that happens. So it's really really interesting. I. I had, a, I had, okay, before I used to play that kind of music and I had a very famous kind of pop music that I remix and explodes, explodes and was insane. And, and it was a combination of a video. I have a, who I was talking the other day then I talk about the Stella. Stella, we're not with you guys. Um, is this up here? Oh, no, not this one. This one. Wait. The, the only problem, it loves to crash. Okay, can you guys see? The name of the app. Okay. The name of the. 
the music is terrible. But um, the name, <laughs> and he's always crashing, he's the only problem. But uh, I want to give you the name. Oh my God, and you cannot close now. <laughs> Open WhatsApp. It, it's the only problem, WhatsApp. It's the only problem of this app is you, it's always crashing, but it's really cool. So ST, oh, right here. It's a, is it? No, it's the A. Oh. On the chat, guys. It's a, it's a music visualizer and it creates really cool videos with your track. So I will say do four or five different types of video for uh, the promotion. You want to have you want to have one with you playing and the other the other person as well. You want to have one just music visualizer. You want to have one with the, you go to the hashtag techno music or dance music or viral videos or whatever, and you find like penguins dancing. I don't know something cool. And we create all of that. We uh, we do this as ads. And then because you are in iPad, you can go one step extra, setting up a pixel and creating a conversion. What is chaotic? I uh, you know, Karim. Uh, look, don't don't shake your head. It's, to me. it's not working. It's not working now after now after it's day. working. Like I finally managed to put that okay I, look i have been doing the influence warriors on organic because that mother f <laughs> of the pixel and the, I, the ios uh, thing mm -hmm. so i i throw away i think 250 euros in ads then did not went anywhere it's so painful um but but okay but finally i'm using quick funnels for um, for my funnels, for the webinars and etc., and finally it's working. It's very funny because my chef's webinar is working better than, than my artist. Um, it's kind of confusing, and I think everyone is all over the place. So we try traffic first. I like the word traffic, and and then we try conversions if you guys want. But like I said, if you want to do it and you guys have a remix and the content ready because I'm not going to create videos with you. I'm happy to set up the ads with you. No problem. Yeah. Just think about one strong name with a good audience, then you can find when you target the ads, pick up a nice, a nice track, it needs to go with your gut because it can be a track that is really like I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. I don't know how you can remix that, but it can be that, but as well can be slightly less known and more interesting. That, that depends with your style and how you want to express yourself. Just bear in mind, there is a very, don't forget that this is all very normally very commercial versions of the, the thing, even techno. So just find the middle term. Or, or if your audience it's like 35, slightly older, and this is for you, uh, a pro, uh, find a really nice 90s, 2000 heat and rebrand. I have been with the, who knows everything about the girl missing. I have been with that track singing on my head. Like I will find myself singing that thing all day long. I love it. It's, it's such a, I remember to be a kid and uh, dancing that. So it's uh, such a beautiful track and you can pick up that and, and bring, or just bring that influence but the, the thing is, if you bring the artists like 90s, maybe you don't have the same audience. It's not the audience you want to target. It depends a little bit. Now it needs to go with your guts and how you want. But step one, decide who are the people that you want to steal. 
Step two, go to Facebook, see if they are there. Like, if you want to do drum code or a label and they are there, it's good as well. But you want to punch the stuff and say, oh, I know this track. Oh, huh? I don't know if I like, because normally when it's a very commercial track, I don't know. I hate when I listen to bad remix. It's painful. Not yeah, a bad remix. Exactly. Sometimes it's not a remix, exactly. it's bad. It's just your memory, your emotions are connected mm. to a certain type. And then it's just, wow, ah, what you did? I remember I did want to kill Tiesto when I listened to the remix from all of all of me, from John Lennon. Yeah, yeah. From the, like it was painful. I don't know. It's, it's it's very weird experience. It's the same when you are listening to a set and the F DJ decide to cut on a on a terrible moment. Then oh, you know, when you feel like you feel that he's no, you don't want to go there. So that is also just, like a dancer. I can I hate it. Because we feel it, we I feel so, it. Like, yeah, I'm just I don't like, know about you guys, but yeah. I, when I started playing 13 years ago, I had this idea. Oh my God, I'm going to have so much fun. It's going, I'm going to dance. And then you, you lose the ability. I lost the ability to go out really? because my mind, point one, my right feet is always counting beats. And the brain is always, ah, no, no, ah, e, don't go there, don't go there, no, what is doing? No, it's empty, go to, so it's very stressful. <laughs> I get some You're stress. always analyzing. Yeah. <laughs> always. And then people are with yeah. you and say, what are you doing? And you look like this weird person. I look like, ah, mm, no, ah, <laughs> what is wrong with you? And it's, it's just, no, listen, listen, what is doing? So, um, yeah can be very painful experience really in special if you go uh if you play like a certain type of music and then you go in holidays and you go to a place where they are playing i don't know like algarve or or benny dorm or i don't know that 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 place is where they they're able, that's not just the noise is the wrong combination and not crowd like they don't read their food dance floor everyone is drunk and it goes anything so that is a very annoying so i stopped going out it's it, it it is it is very painful it is very painful because you are always you you are always connected and it's it's and sometimes you are speaking i don't know but i'm speaking with someone and i'm concentrated but i'm a woman i can do many things at the same time and then you listen what for you it's a mistake and you turn yourself and say, what are you doing but then you don't want to be over the place because sometimes they know you are a dj so they get offended okay so it's sorry it's just a moment i suffer a lot and i go out <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, i i really but for me the most painful thing is seeing artists who don't connect with their crowds mm. and seeing artists who don't read their dance floor mm. It's, it's, I, it is, for me, I was in Portugal when they stopped smoking inside of the clubs. And it took me a while to understand because you start having that thing that is, everyone is dancing. And then everyone, yeah, say, I'm going to smoke. And you have like a bunch of people go all to smoke. And you don't understand yeah. if it's your mistake or if they yeah. went to smoke. So it's uh, it's quite, I, I cannot talk about this because I miss DJing. I promised myself that I'm not going back to DJ and then I start talking about this and um, and I I get excited that's never, and I want, that's never I want to mix now. <laughs> so, um, but, but it's quite funny, like you said, they have to take an, a 90s song that people knew. Uh, yeah, it's the exact same thing I'm doing when I'm doing my mixes for the world champions or the European champions for the disco dancing. I always take an old remix and make it my own because all the judges, <laughs> like they're just, ah, oh, this one is a good one. Ah, and they're <laughs> singing and, and yeah. I'm winning. <laughs> well, in the beginning, I, yeah. used to, I, w I used to play open format and I used to say, I play for the girls. And I like to play the tracks, then they grab each other. Say, ah, this is our song, you know, that, that thing they do. And it's, it's, uh, it's quite an interesting process. We yeah. don't have that, but, but it's, a, it's a thing. If you, as a DJ, 
play, focus on the girls. And I can do that because it's not a problem for me. It's not weird. Um, they command the dance floor. Mm. It's their, their energy who commands the dance floor. Yeah. I see yeah. Paul shaking yeah. your head. You and your boat, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the most, that the boat, the the most wild. Done. Yeah, the most. Tell me, sorry, I did not hear you. Saying the boat's finished now, it's done. Oh, yeah. But but it's the same, right? If you but open, the... open format, if you if you if you can if you can fill your dance floor with girls, girls bring the boys. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's exactly you'll always command it every time. Yeah, yeah. I miss sometimes I miss I miss to play open format because you know, sometimes you know, like you sometimes you had that stupid track, then always works. I remember when I was playing a lot of commercial, um, when you, you lost your crowd, when you lost it, like it's gone, you fucked up. You can always drop one track. Like for example, what is the name? The, the one, the stupid thing that you say, oh, 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 oh. What is the name of the track? Uh, yeah, Army. It, Army. it always works. And extra. One day I was playing on a festival. Oh my God, so embarrassed to tell this. Well, it's a big crowd. I'll say 10,000 people of festival, really crowds. And, and today then you understand the power that you have when you are a DJ. And I see, I was not playing commercial dead, but I still was playing in CDs. And because I'm lazy, I was recording CDs with extra. So I did not have one CD for each track. No, I had many tracks. What was very stressful because sometimes it did not read, it put us to another level. But um, I'm playing and I see in front of me a bench of guys having a fight and the police coming. And I have this moment and I say, I'm the only person who can do something here. Mm. So I went back to my old tracks and I push. I got a feeling <laughs> so <laughs> And everyone was so shocked with my choice that everyone stopped, look at me, and they stopped. And it's insane. Yeah. It's insane the power that you have. Mm. At the same time, if you guys know the story, then I went to play in a small gig and it was 30,000 people, right? I told that story before. And I'm there in this party and like, when I went to the stage, I was a small party, but it was open and everyone decided to go. So my knees shake so much that I could not, that was my hands. I touched two times on the queue because I was shaking. So uh, it's, it was the level. And uh, I, at 4 a.m. and the police comes, this is an open square in Lisbon, central Lisbon. And they say to me, you know, with the headphone, hi, you need to stop now, now. I say, ha, ha, no, are you crazy? I have 30,000 people here. If I stop here, do you know what is going to happen? You need to allow me 20 minutes to calm them down. Oh, no, I need to stop now. You are going to have a fight. So I cut my, I cut my, how do you say, my, my, my channel. And everywhere, and he looks at me, no, no, put back, put back. So it is very, very, very powerful, very powerful. So it's... It's very funny. Guys, did you guys have fun? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Did you learn something? I've learned very interesting I've information. Yeah. Okay. Your first experience of something like that. So it was very good. It was very nice. <laughs> I and had how, another. How, tell me. So what was about the link with the video? I'll give the links everyone. Wait to say I'll send by WhatsApp, okay? I need oh, to okay. Because okay. if I yeah. send here, you guys are going to lose it. But yeah, another, I have another very weird story. So you have Portugal, you have two, uh, you have you have Azores, then you have Madeira, it's uh, islands. And in Madeira, you have Madeira and you have a little island named Port Santo with one nightclub carnival. I'll say if it's 500 people there booked like the water was coming out of the of the walls and everyone is dressed up and i have a guy dressed in as a police costume and he goes to me and says stop now and i said ha, 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 nice and he said you need to stop now and i said no i don't talk well i know you are a policeman 
like big fight. The guys start to decide to pull my cables and it was like a, a war inside. They beat on the police, it was terrible. But um, a funny story, whatever. <laughs> we should do a full collection of stories. For sure, all of you guys have like stories, incredible stories, right? And one it day- must I be the, the next reel on Instagram from Rocky. I oh, will no, see that. Guys, we should, we sh oh yeah, I can start telling the stories. One time, you know, that is a good one. One time in Austria, I had a, I had a gig and I arrived. So you have this huge billboard from my face and he's this black guy, security guy. And I went to the hotel to pick up the, the briefcase with the CDs, old. And I come with the jacket and I'm small, I'm one meter 62. And I'm coming from the taxi and I go straight, it was raining, I'll go straight to the entrance around the queue. It was like a monster queue. And the guy holds me and say, where you go? And I say, uh, I go to play, go to the queue. I say, are you crazy? I'm the DJ. Yeah, they all say that. And I say, turn, it's me, go to the queue now. And I wait on the queue to get on my own party. So, oh. so that, <laughs> that is the one. But yes, you are right, Gina. I'm going to, tomorrow I'll do a reel just for you, telling my weird stories. Yeah. It's uh, it's funny. <laughs> okay, guys, yeah. I'm sending I'm sending all the links. Then I told the flick and the other and etc. I send now and uh, yeah, let's get together. If you guys want, oh, uh, Stefan, I'm going to uh, send you. No, if you open the link that I sent to you for the course, you have one yes. part to say working hours, and there is a link where you can book. Okay. Okay. Can you see what uh, yeah. is the agenda and etc. And then we can come. You can book, and if you have everything ready about what I said, I can work with you guys through and help you to set up this ad. Maybe Karim wants to do it. Karim, you look very sad. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 at all. I'm just walking. Okay, Janjo. Bye. Yo. Are you alive still? I'm. I'm alive. Thankfully, yeah. Okay, so you fall from the water, the the water scooter. How do you say? The jet ski. Jet ski. Yes, water scooter is a Dutch oh, word. Yes. God, man. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, we flew off, and then my girlfriend was crying her eyes out. But we still had another hour, so I was like, "Shut up, we're on here for an hour." <laughs> Don't say shut up to your girlfriend. Oh my! You would too if you were me. I, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I have kids, oh, my God. friends. I have six, so believe me, I will not. Say, but maybe, but. Okay, no, it's very nice. I am going to, uh, so it was recorded, thank God. I'm going to add this to our weekly calls so you can see on the, on the website as well. TV, I'm coming back to you with more videos tomorrow. I'll text you when he's there. I'm sending you guys links now. I love you. I, you guys are the best. Have, love have you a guys. good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.